Hello, and welcome back to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and today we are once again in Music Spacing, the finale frontier. We are talking about grace notes, and in the Music Spacing pane for document options, it's this little center section here. Uh, there's only three options, automatic, keep current, and reset to entry offset. So we'll talk about all three of these options. Uh, hopefully this will not uh, take that long. So by default, Finale will set it to automatic, and under the automatic option, there's a minimum distance between, and there is a value here. Uh, this is what I would recommend to keep it on. Uh, I'll show you what these other two options do, but they're really not all that great most of the time. So uh, my suggestion is to keep this checked. And the minimum distance between value, you should just know that this is the, going to be the distance that exists not only between the uh, the grace note and its main note, but also between each grace note. So whatever that value is set at, in this case 0 0.04167 inches, there's that amount of value between the first grace note and the main note, the second grace note and the first grace note, and the third grace note and the second grace note. Um, and also it calculates with the accidentals and all that stuff. So you can increase this value if you think it's too much. Actually, let me just go into EVPs here real quickly. Um, so instead of 12, let's make this, oh, let's double it, let's make it 24, and click OK. And then when you go and re-space re everything, that you'll, you'll see that your grace notes get a lot more uh, space between not only the main note, but also between uh, each grace note. So again, in EVPUs, the, uh, the default distance here is 12, but you can certainly adjust that uh, if you believe that it's too tight or too narrow or whatever. And really, this is the only thing you should be doing. There's two other options here called Keep Current and Reset to Entry Offset. If you have the Keep Current selected, now what this is going to do is it's going to account for when you make um, adjustments to the music spacing uh, manually um, uh, in this way. So I've, I've gone into my special tools. I've gone into the, the very first Note Position tool. And you can click in the measure, and you can see that you can kind of um, widen these grace notes just a little bit. Um, if you feel like these two in particular are a little bit too tight. The thing is that when you go and respace this measure, you'll see that um, it'll kind of respace everything to the left of the uh, the whole of the grace notes here. So to the left of this, it actually adds a bunch of space, which is not honestly the greatest thing in my opinion, but um, that's what it does. It, it'll keep the, the, the changes that you made, but it will also allow for some extra space uh, at the beginning of the grace notes. If you ever do this and you want to undo that, simply just go back here and click the automatic setting again. And then when you respace, it'll just reset everything back to uh, back to the way it was. And then there's one more option here called reset to entry offset. Now to understand what this is, you have to know what the entry offset is. And the entry offset can be found in the grace notes pane of the document options, there's this one option here, the third one called Grace Note Offset on Entry. And currently it's set to 24 EVPUs. Uh, that's the default. Now, if I were to just uh, go and music space everything with that option checked, what you're gonna see is that the all of the Grace Notes get really scrunched together. Basically what's going on is in the music spacing, it's saying use that entry offset for the spacing. Whatever happens with the grace notes, use that offset for the spacing. And again, with only 24 EVPUs, um, the thing about this option is that it's not 24 EVPUs from the right edge of the uh, grace note to the left edge of the main note. It's actually as if they were on top of each other. So interestingly, if I set this grace note offset entry to zero, um, what you can see is that uh, all of the grace notes are basically, you know, layered on top of the main note, which is kind of, so now you can understand what, what the reference is. It's, it's the left edge of the grace note and the left edge of the, the main note. So even 24 EVPUs is not really uh, all that much. And you can see you don't even need to re-space anything, by the way. Um, when you have that option set, it's just using this grace, grace note offset entry no matter what. So we can actually increase this to 48, and you can see a little bit better result. But again, it's a fixed value, so it's not going to take into account accidentals, which is why in this F sharp here, it's still colliding with the E natural grace note. So, the, you know, the, it's, it's an option, but it's not really all that useful of an option. Honestly, the only thing that I can think of that that makes this option somewhat useful uh, is that if you are um, 
entering notes, let me just redo this. If you're entering notes with automatic music spacing turned off and adding grace notes, uh, you can see that the entry offset will be um, followed within the measure. And if you click out, it's still following that entry offset. This is 24 EVPs sort of left of the note value until you respace it. And then it's going to use the values from the minimum distance between. Um, so really it's it's such a weird little thing about it there's there's really absolutely no reason to have reset to entry offset set for your grace notes um, but that's what it does and that this is what it's referencing it's it's referencing this great notes grace note offset on entry just leave a little bit of a positive value here this will at least allow you to see the grace notes somewhat reasonably uh, as you're entering notes if you have um, automatic uh, music spacing turned off in the preferences, which I've, you know, again and again have recommended that you, you, you keep that turned off. Now, all of this being said, what I would recommend if and when you do need to actually adjust the spacing of your grace notes, again, make sure that you, your automatic music spacing is turned off and just keep it, you know, just keep the music spacing set to automatic and then just go ahead and, and space everything as you need to. Uh, if you just need a little bit of space there, a little bit of space here, maybe a little extra space here, whatever you need to do, just go ahead and do that. Again, with music spacing turned off, or sorry, with automatic music spacing turned off in the preferences, it's not going to touch this this measure. So you can come in and out of here, and it won't adjust the uh, the spacing for you, right? Not until you re-space everything, then it will go back to the way it was. So. Again, just really important to just keep that option turned off, particularly when you're dealing with uh, grace notes uh, in this way. All right, and so that's really all I have to say about grace notes in the, uh, the document options for music spacing. Uh, in the next video, we are going to be looking at manual spacing positioning. And even though there's only one little option here, um, there is a lot to it. So it is going to take up a whole video. Uh, we're going to be talking about this and a whole bunch of other things in that video. Um, and I, I think that'll be uh, pretty important to check out. So once again, thanks for watching. My name is Jason Lafredo. I really appreciate it. Uh, as always, if you haven't done so, please subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you soon on the next video.